Hi guys. Okay, so I tried to do this a couple times, but like I have a migraine and I think I keep repeating myself. So I had to write it down so that I go in order of like things I want to say. So I don't repeat myself. Um, so I have renamed the other videos where I talk about my ex. Um, Chronicles of my narcissistic ex. Um, so I'm going to do this as like a separate series from all the other narcissistic stuff that I talk about. Um, this is for those who kind of wonder and want to follow around but about um, everything that's going on with him. Um, so most recently... He sent me a text a few days ago, which is when the migraine started and has not gone away. Like it started to go away a couple hours ago and now it's like coming back again. It's getting ridiculous. Um, that's why my video is darker too because the lights that are up above here. When you have a migraine, things need to be dark and cold and silent. <clears throat> In any case, he sent me a text um, commanding me or whatever that well, he basically said from now on you will be dealing with uh, his girlfriend and him. And he said it's because he can't stand up for himself when it comes to me. More like I don't allow him to abuse me and constantly play his narcissistic games. I stand up to him and he doesn't like it. That's what narcissists do. If you're a scapegoat for a narcissist, and you decide, screw it, I'm not taking any more of the crap, and you stand up to them, they play the wounded victim, and they'll go to their flying monkeys, and their flying monkeys will be like, oh my god, poor narcissist. Um, and then they'll feel like vigilantes coming up and telling you off. He, he thrives on it. He tried to pull that stuff with me, uh, when we started dating, you know, because he would talk about his ex so bad in front of me and then um, tell me about how his ex and her sisters are so in love with him and all this stuff. And then um, he would make it look like they were doing him bad. And he would just give me this look like, Defend me, you know, come to my aid because he's too much of a wuss to defend himself. Um, and it's not really defending, it's more like he's too much of a wuss to tell, I don't know, to, I don't know how to word it. It's like when it was his friend's wedding and his friend was marrying his ex-girlfriend. Um, the guy, the friend originally said, okay, I'm going to pay for your tux. And then all of a sudden, when they go to the place with, where the tuxes are and, you know, I went with him with our child um, so I can watch him try on the tux and everything. His friend told him that he actually will be paying for the tux. That, you know, my ex will be paying for the tux. And he gave me this look like, you know, you tell him. Like he couldn't, he, he wasn't man enough to tell him himself that we can't afford it. We had just had a baby. We can't afford a couple hundred dollars for a tux. So then the guy asked for like, $50 or something, and we said no. Um, but he wants his, his girlfriend to intimidate me because he no longer intimidates me. 
So he's bringing in his flying monkey to intimidate me. Um, basically what they want, and she actually texted me too, and I told him, no, I'm not dealing with her. I don't have a kid with her. I don't have any ties to her. I have no legal reason why I need to speak with her. I have a child with him. Unfortunately, I need to speak with him at some point. Lately, he's been talking to me more than I would like. Um, so he just wants her to be... I don't know, for some reason he feels like she would be good at intimidating me, but she doesn't, she doesn't intimidate me. I don't care about her. What is she going to do? She can't do nothing. <clears throat> so I told him, no, I won't be speaking with her. Um, what they want to talk about is an agreement for support. Initially, like a year and a, over a year and a half ago, he came up, well, we came up with agree, an agreement for support. And I said it in another video, it all came down when um, he had a, he was here in my house while my daughter was at school. He had attacked me and I ran into my room. Well, he attacked me because we were fighting and he got angry. And like I said, he has anger problems. Um, so he had shoved me into the wall and stuff. Um, so when I ran into my room, I tried to shut the door and he like had his foot in his arm or something slightly in the door. And I was using my weight to, to keep him from coming in to get me. And I told him, um, I'm calling 911 and I told him that so that hopefully he would back off. And then he begged me not to call 911 and said that if I didn't call the cops on him, that he would give me anything I wanted for support. Stupid me, I believed him. He, narcissists will say anything they need to say, they'll even sign anything they need to sign in that moment in order to get them out of trouble, but then later on they'll totally disregard it because they think that they're above it. That, um, they don't have to do anything that they promise to do because you know it's not like i can call the cops now you know over a year and a half later and say hey he attacked me on that day um so i told them fine we came up with an agreement of 2700 dollars a month for support and now this is um child support, spousal support, and because he had taken away um, medic, uh, our medical, um, he had taken away the TRICARE for both me and her. And it was, there's it just everything in it is basically support. Plus, in that support is, since he's on the mortgage on this account, um, Sorry, yeah, he is on the mortgage account. He is legally uh, liable for the payments, even if he doesn't live in the home. So part of that $2,700 a month is also his part in paying his bill uh, for the house. So in any case, I, I typed up the agreement, and it had other stuff in it too, like... Um, even though, like, he, he acknowledges that the support and everything is um, to go towards the house so that technically he isn't paying it um, and that so that he would have no claim to the house and that also um, he agreed that his girlfriend is not allowed to come to the house. Like, if he were to come visit our daughter, his girlfriend isn't allowed to come. Um, because she is very, very confrontational. 
and I really don't need that drama around my daughter. It's already bad enough that there was there was him um, const with his constant verbal abuse. I don't need her adding fuel to the fire. So there was one thing on the agreement he didn't like and he wanted it taken off. I don't remember what it was. So I went to my computer and I retyped it up. He read it, he liked it, he agreed to it, he signed it. I signed it. Uh, we both have copies. And all of a sudden, months later, he said it was made under duress, so it won't legally hold up. His claim is that because I said I was going to call the cops on him, that it's under duress. I'm sorry, but if I'm calling the cops on you because you're attacking me, you're not the one under duress. Um, so since then... I think that agreement held up for like one or two months and then it just seems like every couple of months afterwards he's wanting to make new agreements and it keeps on getting less and less for us and more and more for him and his the way he is with his spending is he spends like he's got Bill Gates account I mean he spent six thousand dollars in two months he had no rent no bills because his car was paid for so all he had was car insurance and cell phone that's it six thousand dollars what did he freaking buy um and since then he hasn't he's only been paying some of the payments on that credit card um but he's maxed out um So every time we make a new agreement, I tell him, um, okay, so this is the new agreement. If you go back on this agreement, then the paper agreement still stands. Every single time we make a new agreement, he goes back on it within a month. Every time. So the last agreement um, we made was um, because he has... He's doing the same job, but for a different company. And I think he's making more money. But uh, it's $450, um, 450 a week, basically $1,800 a month. I'm not seeing that. And I haven't seen that in a long time. I mean, <laughs> this month alone was laughable it it's not paying any bills we barely had any money for food um one of the agreements that we had before was that um 900 every two weeks and then plus i get his uh what do you call it drill pay and that's usually somewhere between like 150 and like 290 dollars then, I think it was October or so, he sneakingly just took it away. Didn't even tell me about it. I got an email saying um, the email changed for that and I wasn't able to log back in so I can see how much I would be getting. And then he, I finally got him to admit that uh, he sneakingly took it away. I also texted him. I think a week and a half ago, um, I said, hey, we need to talk, give me a call. He wouldn't call. He said, what do you want? So I finally said, all right, this is going to be long-winded because there is a lot to say. And I told him, tax season is up, and this is basically how it's going to go. If he doesn't want me to, because we're still unfortunately legally married, if he doesn't want me to uh, do his taxes, um, and he wants to do his own taxes, that's fine, but he can't claim me and um, our daughter. I said, she's lived with me this whole time. You haven't even really seen her, um, so you don't, you don't get to claim her. 
Um, I already looked up on the IRS website and I said, because I know you like to do things sneakingly, um, if you do try to claim her, I will notify the R IRS about fraud. And I said, if he does taxes without claiming us, because he has, has I don't know what it is, the when you fill out your W-2 form or whatever, um, when you start a job, he has it that he has, he's married and has dependents. He's going to end up owing a lot of money. So I told him it would just be easier if I did the taxes, therefore he wouldn't owe anything. And then I would be taking a hit, um, but at the same time, I don't have any taxable income, so I wouldn't, I can't do anything. I think, um, I think my fiance can claim us since, uh, we can put him down as, um, also supporting me and her, even though we're not married. Um, I had to look more into it. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that because it's, it's too much and too confusing. Anyway, so I would be, you know, I told him that I would be getting the taxes, but it would help him out if I did them. Um, so technically, it helps us both out if I do the taxes, but he said okay. Um, but I did have, it, it just took a lot in texting to explain that to him. And, uh, so, I don't know. He told me that that's what'll happen and he hasn't gotten the W-2s yet, but I guess he talked to his girlfriend about it and now he's all mad and wants to con have a conversation between the three of us when she has nothing to do with it. <clears throat> and, okay, so to go with, um him giving me like less and less money for uh, support and everything. I don't know, he's telling me now he's not giving me anything because he's not getting really any hours at work. He said he worked like two days last week. And so he's not gonna give me anything at all and I really, really need it, but there's nothing I can do if he doesn't just give it to me. Now the way court works is if your wages are garnished for child support, if you work two days, guess what? That goes to your child support and you're not getting a paycheck. So he's not going to like what I have to do now, which is I actually, I've trusted him too much. I was stupid and I wanted to avoid going to court because neither of us really like the whole government in our business type deal. Yeah, I know we're married. <laughs> so the government is in that, but, um, that was to the extent of it. So now I actually have to go to court and I'm pretty sure his wages will get garnished once I let the judge know about all these agreements and the paper agreement. And he, by now I think he owes somewhere around $20,000, but that's if the judge allows um, his signed agreement into court. Um, one time when we were having a very heated conversation about him not uh, paying any support, I mean, it got really heated. And he said, all I have to do is kill you both and I don't have, and I won't have to pay you anything. And I'm going to admit, I basically said, not if I get to you and your girlfriend first. It was very, very heated. Um, but he does what he wants anyway. I don't believe he would actually do anything. Like, I'm afraid of him, but I'm not afraid of him. Like... I'm afraid of him trying things, but not that bad. And I'm not afraid of him because if he were to do something like that, I I can defend myself and um, like we are uh, 
gun owners and I've got a baseball bat near the door too just in case. Um, I have pocket knives hidden in pretty much every room out of reach of my daughter so that in case something happens I'm there to protect. So because he's not holding up his end of the agreement, like I think we've made, I've like revised, I guess, agreements five or six times, but not on paper. The original agreement is still on paper. Everything else is just verbal. For him, I have changed our agreement like five or six times and I'm getting so tired of it. It's like, just make an agreement and stick with it. Um, so because, and he never really gives what he agrees to, it's always less and he keeps getting less and less and less and less. And you know, there have been times where he gave nothing at all and other times where he's hasn't even given us enough for, to get groceries for the week. Um, I've had to resort to selling my stuff. He's, it's depleted my savings now. I thought I had enough to last like two months, but because of everything crashing down at once, um, and plus having other issues like with the water heater and whatnot, um, and then everything just going on, I just, it's depleted everything, and I'm... <sighs> I'm just getting so fed up with with him. Um, oh, and anytime we have like a disagreement or whatever and we're talking about him giving me less and less, he has been constantly now signing my email address up for jobs, like job websites like Indeed and Job Fair and other stuff. So because not only has he been signing my email address up for that stuff, but some of those sites sell your email address. So not only that, but I'm getting a ton of freaking spam in my email. And it always happens whenever we talk about it. And then I go through and I unsubscribe from everything and then everything's quiet for a while. And then boom, when we talk again, Within probably an hour or two, boom, my email's getting slammed again with um, jobs and all that. He sends me for jobs, like he sends job, I don't know, job applications or whatever for places that I can't work because it involves standing up. Now, as you know, I was um, injured a long time ago, which is partly his fault because he doesn't help around the house and I was having to do everything myself and I was in a hurry. I fell, broke a piece of bone off my ankle, broke the cartilage thingy or something, snapped in half, um, and had one surgery on it and it made it worse and then he took away insurance so I, can't, I couldn't go for my next surgery. And because I've been walking on it, the pain is, has radiated up to my knee and now it's up to my hip and I spend most of my day sitting down. I can't freaking do anything. If I try to even just do the floors, my house is like 1500 square feet. It takes me at least two hours to do the floors. It's, it's a pain because I like everything to be clean. Um, so I've now been trying to find sit-down jobs or work-from-home jobs. If you guys actually have any tips on work-from-home jobs that are legit and paid decent, not taking surveys or whatever, um, please let me know. I would be eternally grateful because I would like to work from home so that I can work while my daughter's here because if I get to work outside of the home, I can only basically work from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. That's pretty much it. Um, and now because of this, I also, even though it's temporary, 
I have um, taken the liberty of trying to go get uh, like Medicaid and food stamps just to tide us over until my fiance um, goes into the military which that's another thing in itself. His job isn't really giving him any hours. Uh, so he can't really help out right now. And on top of that, his car broke down and it costs like $1,600 to fix it. Everything has been, it's like the world is testing us right now, giving us a whole bunch of crap on our shoulders to try to deal with. But it's okay because I always, figure things out. Whereas my ex, um, he doesn't figure out things for himself. He just lets other people figure out things for him. In any case, um, my fiance is trying to go into the military, as you know. His packet was approved, but then some other guy came into, new into the office of approving and dying, uh, denying packets. And he wanted to go through the already approved packets. So he ended up going through my fiancé's along with a lot of other men and denied a lot of them, including my fiancé. Now the reason why he was denied was because he has a tattoo of his name going up and down his wrist. And the old guidelines were, um, I think you couldn't have a tattoo for like an inch from your wrist. And now the new ones, I, the new guidelines might be two inches or two and a half inches or something like that. Well, so he has to get about an inch and a half or something of his, like an inch or inch and a half of his tattoo removed. So uh, he's had three sessions already. He's got a couple more to go and he can only do a session once a month. Uh, thankfully, his mom has been helping him out with getting that done, uh, financially helping him pay for that. <clears throat> um, so he, with this tattoo thing, it's delayed a lot, so he probably won't be getting in more until the end of the year. So until then, I have to do what I have to do. Um, and the other thing is, is my ex is trying to take money away, like support away from our daughter because he lost his license. He got into an accident a while back. I think it was August or September. He caused the accident due to reckless driving. He got a ticket, but the officer wrote it for something a little less than reckless driving. And he ignored the ticket. Now he's telling me that he had, uh, he had drill when, like, uh, National Guard drill when, when his court date was supposed to be. He's blaming it on that. His drill is Saturday and Sunday. He comes back Sunday night. His court date wasn't till Monday. He didn't miss the court date because of drill. He intentionally ignored it, hoping it would go away. It didn't. And he lost his license. He ended up going 78 and a 55 and got caught he got pulled over and that's when the officer um, found out he had a revoked license and something was wrong with his tags too. Uh, he's blaming this all on everybody else. This is everybody else's fault that it happened. He, he's blaming the officer, he's blaming the... wherever he bought his car from, he's blaming them. He's not taking any responsibility. And I straight up told him, I said, you got your ticket. You knew you had drill. You ignored it. You hoped it went away. It didn't, and it came up and bit you in the butt. You don't have anybody to blame but yourself. And now he's forcing, he's 
decided he's not giving us any money because he has to pay for that. That's not, that's not my daughter's problem. And this is why his wages need to be garnished. Because if he, he screws up financially or screws up his life where it's going to cost him money, if his wages are garnished, and he, then he can't take this money away from her. But the funny thing is, is he's got a suspended license and can't pay for all this stuff. But guess who got himself a brand new Xbox? He already had an Xbox One. Now he wants that, he wanted that new Xbox X or something or whatever. So he got it. Guess who paid for it? My daughter. He should at least send her a thank you card. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm very irritated with him. So I'm kind of being a little snarky. Uh, for Christmas, he sent her a couple of cheap presents. I did not put them from him, I put them from Santa. I don't want her to know right now that he sent her anything because I think that would hurt her feelings. If you're a child, and your parent who wants nothing to do with you sends you presents, what kind of mixed signals is that going to send? That's going to hurt a lot. When she is older and can handle it, I'll, I'll most likely tell her. I'll be like, hey, remember that Christmas you got this? Well, he sent it. I believe he sent the gift. Um, basically as a show for his girlfriend that he's a good dad and he's trying when he's not. <clears throat> he, he hasn't seen her in over seven months and in the past year he's only seen her twice and each was only for like about an hour. He has not called her. He hasn't even asked about her. Um, and now also with the divorce stuff, um, you know, he would keep telling me, oh, it's handled, it's handled, he filled out paperwork, yada, yada, yada. Now he admitted to me he hasn't done anything. I filled out paperwork too, but uh, he was supposed to handle everything. But that's how he gets away with a lot of stuff with me. It's like, I handled it. I handled it. He sugarcoats everything and makes it sound like he answers without giving an answer. So that you, so it sounds like he answered. And then when you ask him later, hey, remember when you said you handled that or whatever? Or you did this, he would like, no, I never did that. I didn't tell you I did that. I'm like, but you, he was like, nope, nope, didn't. So he, he said, he answers things in such a way so that it makes you believe that he did something, but he didn't. Like I said, he is sneaky as heck. This video is getting super long, so um, that's pretty much it for now. I've slept most of the day to try to make my migraine go away, and it's not going away. And I'm going to go try to get a whole two hours sleep before my daughter wakes up, because I've got a lot to deal with tomorrow. And so, I don't know, if more stuff happens, um, I'll make a video some odd time down the road. My dog's like running back and forth in the living room and it sounds weird. Um, but I'll like give you guys like an update or something later about everything that's going on with him. So anyway, take care.